Hello students, this is Mr. Simons. We are going to open up iMovie and actually do something with all those pictures that we just saved. We are going to import them into iMovie and we are going to keep them organized. And to do that we need to create our own library within iMovie. Let's open up iMovie for the first time. I've already moved iMovie down to my dock and this is something you probably want to do so I'm going to go ahead and open up iMovie here it takes a sec to get opened up sometimes and there we are first time through here and hit continue all sorts of uh, little features here and we're gonna get started we're gonna make we're gonna make movies to get started here and uh, it created an iMovie library for you and we want to rename that library so we do the click wait click we want this library to be named specifically for you and so I'm going to name name it with the who when and what I'm going to name that library one. I may need more than one library to organize all of the video that I do. If you become a professional videographer, you're going to have several libraries and lots and lots of events um, that are in your iMovie library or libraries here. Okay, so um, the library is sort of the global um, catch-all for for events and projects in your iMovie. The events are where you store all the media that you're going to use and they've created an event for us and let's go ahead and rename that event as well. Okay. And I'm going to name it slides for my slideshow here because that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it for my slideshow. We, so we want to be as specific as we can when we get to the level of events and and projects here. So um, we want a different event for every different event that we're organizing. It'll keep things really organized in your library here. And so now we're ready to actually import some media into this event here. And so we're going to import all of those pictures that we saved for our slideshow. So we need to import them here. So we click click on import media. Remember, there's always a couple of different ways of getting things. You can hit command I, you can come up here and go to import media um, on, on the menu. But of course, when we've opened up a new event, they give us a little box. Let's use that box. There's also an arrow up here for importing. So like a lot of things on the computer, there's many different ways of doing the same thing. Whichever one makes the most sense to you, go ahead and use that method. But for right now, let's click the import media here. Okay, it's gonna take us out to um, this window here for importing. You wanna go to the name of your computer here and then of course to our documents folder that's what that's where we saved our pictures and double click here into here and there's my home folder and my pics folder and my slides folder okay so let's go back let's go backwards a little bit here and make sure we know exactly what we did here we got to the m MG student demo which is the name of this particular computer yours will have a CTE MG etc on it go to the documents folder double click go to your home folder double click go to your pics folder double click go to your slides folder and double click um, if you just if you just hit those folders you'll <coughs> you'll have too many layers of things to do now um there's a couple of shortcuts to get everything that's in a folder or most of what's in a folder. 
Let's show you the everything shortcut first, which is to um, just highlight one of your pictures and then hit Command A and that highlights everything in the folder. And so you notice that all my, all my pictures are highlighted now. The other thing we can do is to highlight a list of things. So things that, that exist um, in a list can be highlighted by highlighting the very first one in the list and then going to the last one that you want in the list here and hitting shift and click. See? And I got everything from the first one that I highlighted to the last one that I highlighted by using the shift click there. I do actually want everything in this folder, so we'll hit the command A and we'll import all of those pictures into the event. And so everything is organized within my library that's properly named and in its own event so that we uh, so that we have everything ready to go in one place for us. Um, I do want to do a little bit of pre-editing here by deleting my lion pictures that I got first. Those don't belong with the slides. Those were demos that I did for you guys. Uh, the slides is about hiking and my, my slideshow is about hiking and skiing. So I have hiking and skiing slides here. Hopefully you'll have quite a few more than I did, but I, I shortcutted us a little bit so that I could get to our demos. So uh, make your library your, uh, your properly named with the who, when, and what, and make your event properly named with the who, when, and what. If you ever need to make a new library, you come up here, file, go to open library, and you can make a whole new library in iMovie. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that you can see that we could have a, an additional library up here, which it will automatically make one event for you here. And we can rename that. You can come up here and once you're in the once you're in the library, you can make new events from here. And there are several different ways of doing all of this stuff. So um Play around with this a little bit. Make sure that your slides are all in one single event before we go to the next tutorial. Thanks. When you get here, please make a screenshot so we can see that your library is properly named, your event is properly named, and that you have slides within one event here. So remember the command shift four and draw around what you need to draw around here that should be that should be plenty right there and of course you know how to organize and submit your screenshot so submit the screenshot with this assignment and you're done and you can move on to the next one which is actually building the slideshow in iMovie thanks buddy bye, -bye.